What's up guys, it's Kevin from K-Squared Fitness. Today I'm going to be breaking down the chin above rings plus a negative chin up. Alright guys, so key points of performance here. We got another chin up and pull up variation. Pull ups are very tough, you got to get strong in a lot of different positions. So the rings is a unique way to add more stability into our uh, chin above bar hold or chin above rings. So whenever you go, you're actually going to turn the ring this way, it's a little better for your shoulder. So I'll get into my hollow body at the top. Hollow body is anytime that my toes are together, quads are tight, ribs are down. Notice that I'm intentionally creating this shape of a hollow body anytime I'm on the bar or the rings because I'm engaged throughout my entire body. I'm not just pulling down here. I'm locking down my ribs, my glutes, flexing my quads. So again, I'm all tight through here. So I'll do my time for a certain amount of duration and then control down with my palm facing to me and then I can touch here. Notice that the negative comes all the way down to full range of motion. Um, I always talk about, for, for using this example, a dude that want to get massive arms, it's not about cranking out a bunch of quick pull-ups, or, or excuse me, uh, curls. It's about coming up and then going slow down. That's what actually grows your muscle. Growing muscle means you're going to be stronger. Same thing applies to any movement, squats, pull-ups. So when we get up, the more you control down, that's where you're showing me that you're strong. So for today's movement, yeah, slow down a little bit. To get to the top, hold, plus the negative chin up looks like this. I got a hold, hands are facing towards me, pop. That's the chin above rings hold, plus the negative, get after it. 